I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Greetings and greetings, my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters. Welcome to the Nurse and Affiliated Channel brought to you by Cardiac Strong. Dot care. I will tell you this, first and foremost, I appreciate everybody following my nursing channel since 2010, 11, all them good years, and now it's time to give back to my community, all my nursing uh, students, nursing affiliates, and also my future nursing prospects. All right now, please follow Wheezy Nurse on Twitter. She's hilarious. She told me the very first question that I want to answer to you guys. Um, her question says, remember, this is Wheezy Nurse. She's on Twitter. Uh, she asks, how to form a good nurse uh, patient report in relationship? And also, I'm gonna combine that with another question I got from Jessica. She's also a labor delivery nurse. She basically says, how to give a proper SBAR to a doctor, or colleague, or anyone on the healthcare field. Love this. So, like I mentioned before, this is actually pretty cool. I do like this question brought to both of them. And um, very first thing I'm gonna tell you right now, as a nursing prospect, as a nursing student, um, anyone that's working in the healthcare field for five, 10, 15 years, it doesn't matter. This is always how we should approach a doctor, an LVN, a nurse, um, your healthcare field, uh, field colleague, anybody in the healthcare field, because you don't know who they are. All we see is a badge, right? Cool. You come into the clock in, you work, you look in the room, you're like, who is this person? So you always have to introduce yourself. It's very, very important, and it's professional on your part. So instead of S bar, I always want to just go ahead and put I S bar. So I would stand for introduction. So when you walk into a patient's room, ever have that point where you walk in and they're like literally cleaning the patient, and it's like the most inappropriate time to walk in? We've all been there. <laughs> We've all been there. So I definitely want to just go ahead and put it right there. Knock. Before you walk into a patient's room, please just show some respect and some dignity. You also have to show them integrity when you walk in that room. So quick little knock. Hey, uh, excuse me, can I come in? No, if they can't, you know they're doing something in there. Cool, I'll be right back. But you have to introduce yourself. So let's just say someone comes in, for example, a doctor sitting on the chair, you want to ask them a question um, or anything, always introduce yourself. So for an example, the way I would do it, I come in, knock, if it's not a knock, if they're in front of me, you know, first, I. Introduction. I'm going to just tell them, hey, how you doing? My name is, you know, so-and-so. I'm Nurse Mendoza or Edgar. Um, I'm one of the nurses here on this unit. I had a quick question regarding this patient. Um, can I ask a quick question? Um, who you may be or what specialty are you in? Are you an um, are you a fellow? Are you a, an attending? And it does not hurt to ask because you're looking at them and you're directly asking them a question. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. So you don't want to yell. You want to look at them. Please introduce yourself politely, appropriately, and just precise and get to the point. Then once you pass the introduction area, you guys kind of have a good report. You go on what's next to the situation. So let's just say it's the doctor. You call him up or you see him face to face. Remember, a lot of people are staring and looking at you, so you don't want to get nervous. Sometimes it happens. It's normal. It is normal. But you will not knee buckle the second time. So you give a situation. Oh, hey, Dr. So-and-so, um, like I mentioned before, my name is um, so-and-so. I'm one of the nurses here on the unit. I have a situation with this patient. Which patient, they ask? Okay, well, this 45-year-old uh, CHF patient that came in a couple days ago, uh, looks like they're having exacerbation, and they're going to say, what do you mean? So you, that's when you give the situation. And the patient, right? So you get a situation. Patient came in for CHF. They're so-and-so, um, and then they're here with their history. So you go ahead and give them a background. What are they here for? They had uh, shortness of breath. Let's just say um, they're having uh, pulmonary issues because the fluid was going back into the lungs. Um, edematous, they're weighing, they gained three or four extra pounds. Um, they're pitting edema, right? So you give them, of course, the background, and then you go ahead and just go straight into the assessment. And the assessment part is what's going on with the patient, and you're telling the doctor, but you gotta be precise. You guys cannot tell a story. Doctors have so many things to do, right? So, once you give them the assessment on what's going on with the patient, that's when you go ahead and recommend to the doctor. Uh, doctor, I, I was just had a recommendation. Do you think maybe we should give, uh, maybe draw some labs, follow up with some labs, also maybe BMP, CPK, troponins, I don't know. Another thing to follow up to, maybe we could, if you want to up the dosage on Lasix, uh, just to clarify with you. And then you give them recommendations. Um, and also, can we maybe uh, weigh the patient every 12 hours just to see what the progression is with the, um, you know, with the medications, if they're actually losing the weight. So that way we can go in the direct path. Whatever you want to recommend, guys, make sure it's precise and you have to be on point with this. So it's very important, like I said, guys, reiterate one more time, it's I S bar. So introduction, way to be professional. Remember, it's not uh, what you say, it's how you say it. So introduce yourself, hi, my name is so-and-so, I'm taking care of this patient, then boom, um, you introduce yourself to the doctor, and then the second's gonna be the S bar, which is gonna be situation, this will go on with the patient, they've been here at this time, and then you give them background, patient came in for this, and then the assessment, what you found, and what you recommend the doctor to see if you wanna give Lasix, weigh the patient even more, and draw some blubs, uh, labs, or maybe a x-ray. 
all that. I know it seems like a lot, guys. It takes time. Remember, it took me a while to, for me to get here. I'm not going to lie. I knee buckled a few times. It happens. But that way you learn. Don't forget my fellow nurse, brother, nurse sisters. That was a great question. Don't forget to follow uh, my girl, Wheezy Nurse, on Twitter. And don't forget to check out this awesome uh, uh, scrub top from Cherokee Uniforms. It's infinity, my man. It's amazing. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, don't forget to stay cardiac strong. I will tell you right now. Please click right here where I'm pointing at uh, my website on www.cardiacstrong.care for all my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters. Don't forget to peace, love, advocate, and nurse grind. I love each and every one of you. I'll talk to you guys later. Cardiac Strong. Join the Nurse Mendoza and the Cardiac Strong team. Bam. Facebook. IG. Twitter. YouTube. Don't forget Snapchat. Nurse Mendoza 1. <sighs> Feels good. good. Oh! <laughs> All right.